segment of the Mike and the Jeff Man Show. This is where we show off our expertise, or lack thereof, when we pick the games every week. And I'm going to let the Jeff Man start with what he thinks uh, at least are the two biggest games of the week, along with some other uh, opinions. Well, the Brass Division of the Nogatuck Valley League is going to have two major matchups this week. Uh, Watertown against Crosby. I'm going to go with Crosby for one reason. Their passing game is getting better and better. And it's really going to be interesting to see how the weather will affect the game. Uh, but the game is going to be played regardless of if it's a monsoon or it's a light drizzle or it's a muddy field. Uh, secondly, Seymour against Wilkett. Wilkett is playing very well on both sides of the ball. Seymour is going to get better. And I think I'm going to give the nod to Seymour based on their home field advantage and Mike Oshesky. Uh, but it's going to be, a, it could be a very good game. Uh, and then we got uh, Cheshire and Shelton. Cheshire has some momentum after beating Amity last week in the last uh, couple of minutes, rallying to come back. And I'm going to give them one more shot to, to, to beat the Gales. The Gales and Wilbur Cross and Hamden, who they played already, are all undefeated. And uh, Cheshire has their opportunity right now in front of them uh, to take advantage of the situation. All right, other games on the schedule. On Thursday, Holy Cross travels to Torrington. I like the Crusaders there. Uh, Pomperog's at Newtown, and I think Pomperog will finally get into the win column after two heartbreaking losses. Uh, we have Woodland at Sacred Heart, and uh, Big Tim Shea. It's hard to, hard to go against the guy. He's, he's a monster. And, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to go with Woodland uh, over Sacred Heart. And uh, in the Pequot, a huge Pequot conference matchup. Um, actually, that's not true. Nottawag at Gilbert, and I am going to go with <laughs> the Gilbert Yeller Jackets here. Gilbert over Nottawag. Um, I like Gilbert at home, and I like the helmet, and that's about all I have to say about that. All right, anytime I can bring the Gilbert helmet out, I'm just going to do it, So until someone picks it up from the school. All right. <laughs> Moving right along, uh, who's he at Ellington? I'm going to go with... This is a tough one. This is really tough. I'm going to go with Housatonic because my neighbor plays for the Housatonic football team. And the thing about Ellington is they were the ones that beat Wilka Tech the week before. So. That's a very good point. Thank you, Jeff, man. And the last game on our predictions list is uh, St. Paul. Playing, who are they playing again? East, East Catholic? Catholic? Yes. yes. I couldn't read my handwriting here. Uh, and I'm going to go with St. Paul because the Jeff man says they have excellent players on their team. So that's good enough for me. I mean, they have a great coach as well. Jude Kelly is one of the longtime state uh, legends and, and uh, three different schools now. So it's uh, I think he's going to have a really, really good season. A winner wherever he goes. All right. We'll see how we do. How we do last week, by the way? I tried to avoid some of the, the pitfalls that we had, but uh, I had a couple. I had Paparag, you know. And, that was you know, a tough one. <laughs> you wanted me to shave my head after their win? Yes, that was a close one as and, well. You know, I had 38 seconds. <laughs> 30. That was a close one. Well, maybe next time. All right, well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.